Hello YouTube and welcome to Path of Exile. This is a pretty awesome Diablo clone. Uh, currently I'm running away from this monster that's chasing me and poisoning me. Uh, the game is absolutely amazing. I've been playing this for, um, I would say a few hours now. I'm level 7 I believe. I have two points to distribute. I haven't distributed them yet. And I'll show you everything about it once I kill this monster. Son of a gun, just go away from me. This is actually a, a mini boss. Uh, he's a little bit tough. He's a little bit of a tough fight. But I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's get rid of these zombies. Let's go down already. Alright, so. Uh, so you do. I have something called shield here. On top of my life points. And obviously mana as well. Uh, all my skills are here. And the, the way skills work here is actually pretty cool. So you have different slots in different inventory. And you have these gems. So there's one right here. I can actually take it out and show you. There's one right here. And I can actually insert it here. And it could be, and it becomes a, uh, a skill. Uh, so each of these different gems gives me a different skill. So this is a poison arrow. This here is a, a, a special arrow I found from uh, that fell from like a boss. It's called a burning arrow. I'll actually show it to you. This is what it does. Uh, so it does this. It's a, it's a pretty cool AOA skill. Um, it's, uh, and the way it works is that I actually have to kill 36 monsters before I can use it because it needs souls to con it consumes souls and mana. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, there's a lot of loot in this game, lots of random stuff that drops, but most of it is kind of useless. That's why I'm actually not picking this up. And because there's no actual gold or money in this game, everything like usually when you trade something, you, what you get in return is materials and all kinds of different um, stuff that you can use for making other things. So. Ooh, yeah. Uh, goodbye. So, for example, um, well, let me see. So, for example, here is a scroll of wisdom, which actually is made up of five pages. So, sometimes when you trade things, you get those five pages that you can then make into scrolls of wisdom. So, it's a pretty cool economy system. Also, the potions work differently. They actually work on charges. So, you can see my potions have different amount of charges left. And so, when I use up a potion, like for example, right now, it has eight of twenty-eight charges. And uh, usually during a level, you only have a limited amount of potions you can use. So they don't actually use up, but they do use up charges in certain levels. And this is an MMORPG, but it's actually... Oh, that's where I actually have to go. Um, it's actually uh, instance-based MMORPG. So there's a lot of people running around in the city, but every level is played in single play mode, or you can play it as an instance with other people by joining their groups. I actually have to do this. To open this cave. I have to talk to Tarly for my reward. What's in here? Is it a cave? Is it a cave? Is it a cave? There's also a map here. This is what the map looks like. So I finished all these levels already. I'm at level here somewhere right now. And I believe I have to talk to this person first. But should I just go in? Yeah, why not? Let's go in. I haven't been here yet. Uh, let's find out what's inside. Okay. It's probably gonna be lots of monsters. Uh, oh, and before I show you monsters. Oh, okay. Here's a monster. Uh, oh, I know some of my points are rangers and archer, obviously, because I have a bow. Uh, so some of the items are here. And my character sheet looks like this, so these are some of my skills I already have. I'm level 7 right now. Okay, there's another monster coming up. Uh, I have 32 dexterity, which is basically... Oh, there's dexterity, strength, and intelligence, depending on the class you choose. And I think there's uh, 3 or 4 classes to choose from in the beginning, I don't remember exactly. So this is pretty simple, but the more advanced stuff is actually here. This is where you can modify your character to the way you want to play. So you can actually create any type of a character. It doesn't have to be just archer, just warrior. Uh oh, I'm being shot at. Uh, it can be absolutely anything. So for example, I could have chosen a strength pass path and like go. Stop shooting me, jerk. Uh, all right, Keep doing that. Uh, so I could have chosen any path and follow any branch and get all kinds of cool skills and benefits and features. So like for example, my what I'm headed toward right now is Ballistic Mastery which will give my projectiles more damage and more speed. Because I am going for a full archer build. And so... Oh, I get a free reset as well, but I think I'll just take it. So this gives my projectiles more damage. Uh, this gives me more speed though, so maybe I should take this as well. But basically, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna get this, and now I'm gonna get Ballistic Mastery. So, that will give me 20 dexterity. 
So now I'm a super archer. White points. Yes. Alright, so now when I go in here, I have suddenly a lot of dexterity. My damage will be almost doubled now. So I'll be a pretty badass archer person. Let me just find something to test it on. Let me see if I can one-shot things now. Do, 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 do. Where are you guys? Now you're not nowhere to be found from suddenly. Ha ha ha. You're afraid of me, aren't you? Oh, here. Oh, here, boss. There's the boss coming out. When music changes, it's usually because it's the boss. Alright, so, and there's a lot of different locales and different environments. And most of them are kind of creepy, to be honest. Um, this is not good enough. Mine is better. So this game is pretty amazing. Uh, one feature that like, for games like Dragon Sang Online has that this game doesn't is... Ooh, you see, one shot, one shot. Oh no, not one shot, but pretty close. Um, so the difference between this and Dragon Sang Online is that Dragon Sang Online is actually a uh, more PG in the sense that you have everyone on the same map and you kind of quest in the same environment. So it, it's slightly different. But the advantage that this game has is that basically I have not felt the need to buy or to pay for anything yet at all. It does show up occasionally, like there's a few uh, cosmetic items that you can buy. You can basically buy... Uh, ooh, what's this? What's my uh, maximum energy shield? No. And so the cosmetic items are probably the only thing that I've seen so far that you can probably invest into. Other than that, I honestly, I gotta say, I'm impressed with this game because it has not really gave me a need to purchase anything. I've been playing as a free to play player, um, and I, so far, have not really needed anything, like any purchases, anything. It really, um, it's a really good model that they have, it's all optional pay, and I'm sure there's things that will maybe make your game a little bit easier, like extra experience gain and stuff like that. Uh, but it, for me, it's, honestly, it's not necessary. Uh, Dragon Sign Online limits your free-to-play um, gaming in, in several things. Like, for example, in Dragon Sign, you actually have to... Ooh, waypoint. I need to click on that. In Dragon Sign, for example, you actually have to uh, either have... Ooh, all right. Nice. Um, either have... Um, actually, I'm going to go to the city. What it uh, usually asks you to do is buy or purchase points so that you can buy I, I, um, what do you call them? identification scrolls here you just find them I found all of these I either found them or made them and that's pretty cool uh, so you don't really need to pay for that uh, what now all right I'll kill those roaming rotting growers and um, this is the city this is basically where you see other people there's also a notice board here that you can Either make a quest uh, request, like if you're having trouble with a cave or a level, or you can actually just join other people. And these most of these are pretty high, I think. Yeah, they're way higher than me. Except for this one. Act one start. Three out of six players. Uh, hmm, maybe I should do it. Maybe not. No, I'll do it next time. But basically, yes. So that's so, how the game works. You open the tidal passage and live to tell the tale. And Forgive there's me. all these quests, which are pretty awesome, and. This gives me a reward, so I can select one of these new skills. So these are basically my skills. So each of these gems is a skill, and they level up in their own way when you use them. So the more I use my skills, the higher level I get. So for example, if you look at my poison arrow, which I use a lot, it's already level three. All right, so now I have rain of arrows, and it's right here, it's W now. So all your skills will go here. And this is pretty cool, it's a pretty cool system. Uh, I kind of actually like having skills that I insert into your weapons and your inventory. And you can see that some of them are different colors, so I, I almost used up all my green ones. I think I actually used all of them up. So I have to find, if I want to increase, or if I actually want to put this in, I have to um, find another item that has a green slot. So as you can see, if I want to purchase something, like for example, if I want to buy this bow, which is a little bit better than mine, I actually have to pay in scrolls of wisdom, and I want to have three, but it costs one. So there's no money. There's like a bargaining system. Now I don't need any of this stuff. I actually just find it. So instead, I'm gonna sell some of this. Uh, this is identified. Some of these items are yellow, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna sell this. Get 
four alteration shards, which are used in uh, modifying items. Okay, I don't have enough wisdom. Alright, so I'm gonna go go do my next quest, which is right here. It's to kill a crab, I believe. Yeah. Kill a crab, yeah. So I'm gonna go do that. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it here and continue this in the next video. So please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. And do check out my other videos. So I'm gonna be probably post a few more videos of um, of this game of Path of Exiles because it's an awesome game and it's definitely it deserves your attention and definitely deserves that you try it because it's such an amazing game. So thank you for watching and please subscribe.